Let's bring in Peter Morisi. Uh, Peter, I, I kind of wonder, though, how much is this being, excuse the pun, inflated because we're using 2020 as a base and we know the economy was almost dormant because of the pandemic. Is, is that a play a little bit here? Oh, yes, absolutely, because we had very low gas prices this month last year. However, the month-over-month -month mm. numbers are, are very disturbing. We are seeing price increases that cannot be dismissed as transitory because they're the kinds of price increases that are going to compel people to ask their bosses for more money. Uh, compounding that with, with what's going on in the gasoline market now, even before Colonial shut down, you know, President Biden's policies are very inflationary. Uh, they basically duped the Fed through Janet Yellen into thinking they can print as much money as they like and it won't have consequences. Well, the consequences have arrived. When they were talking about averaging inflation over several years, I think they were talking about, well, we'll get 2.5% for a while to average out the 1.5% last year and that sort of thing. But what do you do if you start getting 4 or 5% inflation? Consider Florida with all those retirees. They're getting very little interest on their money at the bank. And they're getting clobbered by inflation on the value of the balances. I mean, this is an extraordinary tax on the elderly. They're going to be hearing about this from a lot of places. Also, inflation like this is toughest on the poor people that are supposed to be Mr. Biden's principal concern and constituents. Right. Good luck on that. What you're about to see is this printing press economics, you know, that's mm -hmm. basically being pushed by his Council of Economic Advisors, this new monetary theory, blow up in the Oval Office. Well, Peter, I've got literally a minute left. I just wanted to pick up on that point. Stuart Varney has been saying this, that, look, you send all of this money in, in the form of stimulus to people who, who are not working and can't find work, and then prices go up. In fact, all of that money is creating the inflation that hurts those that can least afford it. Absolutely. There's enormous demand for things that people would not normally buy if it were not for the right. fact that they have all this extra cash. That's the first thing. And the second thing is what we buy and use has shifted, which is creating lots of kinks and, and brittle points in the supply chain. Some of that will resolve, but this is such a large impulse. It's ludicrous to think, and the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell has offered no evidence to indicate that he can categorically say that this is just right. a burst. Yeah, well, he's convinced that it's going to equal itself out later in the year, but we shall see. Peter Marisi, great stuff as always. Thanks for joining us. Take care.